Hi there, this is uh, Eugene Blanchard, and uh, what I'm going to do is an introduction to BandLab, um, specifically Cakewalk. Uh, Cakewalk is a DAO, a digital audio workstation that's free uh, to download, um, and it works with the BandLab uh, website for sharing your uh, music that you create. So very first thing is you download BandLab Assistant. Once you have BandLab Assistant down, then you can download Cakewalk. So let's take a look at BandLab Assistant. Uh, first you have to log in. Uh, once you log in, you're going to come up with BandLab. It's going to have the, uh, the assistant. We'll have a library, sounds, and apps. In the library, it's going to show you the songs that you've uh, um, uploaded already. So these are all the latest ones that I've uploaded. Um, you can access the mix editor. Um, mix editor is an online editor. and that, It's okay for sharing and collaborating, but I don't recommend it for creating music. You need something a little bit better. Um, on the sounds tab, uh, you can have your loop packs and stuff like that. I don't have any loop packs. And that uh, you can, now you can go to the apps. The apps is the one where you would download Cakewalk. So what would happen here is that you'd have an option that says Cakewalk, and then you could install it. Right now, if you want to do the uh, music libraries, you'd go to uh, this pull-down menu here, and you can install ads add-ons. So under the add-ons that you want to install are the Studio Instrument Suite, and this has a, a bass, it has a piano, it has strings in it, it has a, a few, I'll show those when we open up Cakewalk. It has a drum replacer, so it has a, a it has drum instruments. Uh, Melodyne, Melodyne allows you to change the pitch of uh, uh, music that you've recorded, or change the uh, timing or lengthen it. Um, so as an example, if you're uh, working with some audio that they didn't use a, a metronome to, for timing, what you can do is actually change the timing um, of it. And then you have a theme editor so you can have it look. And then you just press install. And that's how basically you would install Cakewalk and, and its uh, studio instruments.